finally finished her dinner. That was sick. Whoa, she's backing up her bum there. No, no way! What is that? What's going on guys? Now this is my jungle huntsman that had only seven legs a couple of hours ago. This footage is from last night, and although she's moving well, and overall a pretty healthy looking huntsman, you'll notice she's missing one leg and one pedipalp on her right side. And if we focus right in, you can see these two little segments here, where her limbs have been ripped right out of the sockets. It looks to me like she's been attacked by a predator, like a bird or a lizard, and only just escaped. But spiders are so good at surviving and adapting, just check out how she's still able to do everything she normally would. So how cool is it watching her clean those seven remaining legs, knowing what we know now, that there is an eighth leg just waiting to come through? All right, so that first short element of the leg is called the coxa, and that brand new leg is about to pop through that hole in the next molt. Spiders have a special ability to regenerate new parts when they shed their exoskeleton. Similar to lizards that grow a new tail again, or a shark that can grow back its teeth. The only thing that my jungle wasn't doing during this whole time was actually eating. She wouldn't even attack her prey, obviously waiting till she has all her legs ready to flick the cricket into those massive fangs. Now I've got a slow motion of her taking one down coming up later in the video, so stay tuned for that. But it's cool how that leg comes down to touch the cricket as he pauses there. Cricket must be all like, oh, how's it going? The huntsman needed to know what it was, but was never going to attack it. Tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Oh man, that cricket is so lucky. So the next morning I found this perfect molt on the bottom of her enclosure. Check out those details. You can really see a lot more character in the spider's eyes when they're full and dark. Whereas now on the molt, they're lifeless and just look empty. And those fangs have such a darker shade of blue. It's like an exact replica of what this huntsman used to be before the accident. I imagine it would have been really sad for a while when she first lost her leg. But then, that only lasts for a little bit because now she's got it back. And it probably feels like she met up again with an old mate that she hasn't seen since she was a kid or something. Some spiders can even shed their exoskeleton 20 times in their lifetime. So the brand new leg and pedipalp look lighter and slightly out of place. Let's get right up close there, because you can almost see right through it, it's that clear. Even the hair is a lighter shade. I wonder, you know, if it's just as if that leg was just born and weaker than all the others, and might not be able to move as well, but once she gets some protein in there, she'll be able to regain the strength. Let's see if she wants to get some food into it. That was a sick ass takedown in real time. Now I want to check the slow motion to see how that leg really performed. Yeah, I reckon she's going easy on that new leg. Wouldn't want to damage it so soon. Probably a good idea though to use the stronger limbs first. I'll try my best to get right up close and film some really sick shots of this feeding. And it's gonna get pretty hectic. Looks like she's gonna destroy that cricket. Oh yes! Now this spinning dance she's doing right now is what most huntsmen do during their eating phase. Look how wide the web spreads out of her spinnerets. Turning round in circles as the cricket is being webbed to the glass, just wrapping it like a burrito. Man, it's as if she's just nailed her food to the glass given herself more leg room so she can just dive into the cricket.
That is such a mashup of wings and legs. And man, the only thing keeping it together is the digestive juices that the huntsman spitting onto the cricket. Man, that cricket's head is just hanging on by a thread. What part is that, I wonder? And that's when his head was separated from the rest of him. Wham! His kappa is detated from his head. Finally finished her dinner. That was sick. Whoa, she's backing up her bum there. No, no way! What is that? Well, there's a first time for everything. Well, it's a first time for my channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. It's so cool how just from one molt they can grow an entire limb back. Make sure you stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.